first Euro NASCAR Pro round at Autodrome Grobnik will be coming up very shortly. But in the first races of the season, we were in Italy at Vallelunga, where the reigning champion in Euro NASCAR Pro, Loris Hazemans, claimed the first win of the year. The second win of the year, though, went the way of Giammarco Urkeli returning to victory lane for the first time since 2018. It was then on to a very wet Belgium and Zolder, where the reigning Euro NASCAR 2 champion, Lassie Sorensen, was pretty dominant in the race. He came through to claim his first career win in the top flight of Euro NASCAR, the Euro NASCAR Pro Division. In the second race of the weekend, it was the two PK Car Sport teammates, Stenis Longjean and Alan Day, that lined up on the front row of the grid. Alan Day eventually managing to pick the pocket of Stenis Longjean. He put the number 24 Monster Energy Chevy into the lead and he'd hang on to it until the chequered flag. So Alan Day leads the championship by three points coming into this weekend from Lassie Sorensen and Giammarco Urkeli is third. As ever, there are two championships. There'll be four races over the weekend. Euro NASCAR Pro for the pro drivers. Alan Day is the leader, as I said. And for the young and the amateur drivers, they drop into Euro NASCAR 2, where Vittorio Garelli leads the way. Well, Croatia and Autodrome Grobnik play host for the first time ever to the NASCAR Wheel in Euro Series. It's a 4.2 kilometer, 2.6 mile circuit. It's tight, it's twisty. There are few overtaking opportunities. It's a real driver's challenge. Cloudy conditions as the Euro NASCAR Pro drivers are head on to the grid for a 17 lap race. However, in qualifying, it was Giorgio Maggi that was able to put the number 18 Hendrix Ford onto pole position. It was really tricky. Uh, track looked really wet when driving, but it was uh, quite okay grip. Still some uh, very slippery spots, but uh, overall, uh, grip seemed good. Yeah, and uh, also set up. We came here and yesterday and uh, was we were pretty much set already. Uh, was not not a lot to change. Okay, uh, still a bit uh, understeer. There's still uh, some stuff to improve, but uh, the guys from Hendrix really gave me a good car, and uh, yeah, it ran really well, and uh, we grabbed pole. So the cars are heading onto the grid. What to watch out for in this race will be the number 70 car of Giammarco Urkeli, third in the championship, but his car was involved in an incident in Euro NASCAR 2 qualifying. He's had to change teams and cars and will start off the back of the grid. So it's Giorgio Maggi and Stenis Longjean on the front row of the grid. Lassie Sorensen and Nicola Rocker on row number two and Marty Dubeck and Loris Hazemans on row number three. But watch out for that 70 car off the very, very back of the grid. The driver who lies third in the championship standings with work to do. So buckle up, everybody. We're about to go green for the first time in Euro NASCAR Pro this weekend. The cars charge their way up towards turn number one where Stenis Longjean picks up the lead of the race from Giorgio Maggi in second place. And it's Lassie Sorensen who's fighting away for third with Nicola Rocca, his teammate from DF1 Racing, the two of them side by side. Nicola Rocca for the moment in third position. Lassie Sorensen, the reigning Euro NASCAR 2 champion, there in fourth. Round through turn number five. It's still Stenis Longjean out front and leading the way. There goes the number 98 car of Mark Goosens, hugely experienced driver on both sides of the Atlantic with a mixture of single-seater sports car and these big NASCARs that he's driven for the last few years. But out front, it is Stenis Longjean who is looking to try and get the break on the pole sitter, the Swiss driver Giorgio Maggi, who was runner-up in Euro NASCAR 2 last year. The rest of the field all filing their way through the twists and turns, whilst Giamarco Urkeli is trying to make progress with that number 70 car off the back of the grid. Stenis Longjean just looks to have broken away a little bit more here now from Giorgio Maggi. All going to plan at the moment for Stenis Longjean. Former Euro NASCAR 2 champion, stepped up to Euro NASCAR Pro a few years ago, claimed his first win October of last year at his home NASCAR Grand Prix. That at the top flight is so far his only NASCAR win. Nicola Rocca running a little bit wide there, coming out of turn number five. That's going to allow Lassie Sorensen to try and squeeze his way through. The 23-year-old Dane goes through, takes the place away from the Italian. Nicola Rocca also coming under pressure from the next of the cars, which is going to be the Hendrix Ford, number 50, in the hands of the reigning champion, Loris Hazemans. Nicola Rocca just losing the one place in the end, but for the moment, it looks as though he's struggling a little bit with that car. And Loris Hazemans is starting to turn the screw, apply a bit more pressure and see whether he can try and somehow work his way past the 26-year-old Italian. Gets a good run coming out of turn 13, up towards turn 14, onto the brakes at 15, but it's still Nicola Rocca that hangs on to the fourth place. Loris Hazemans in fifth, Martin Dubeck is in sixth place, and then Mark Goosens is the orange car at the back end of this little quartet. Over the start finish line, they'll work their way. The leading pair just getting away. Stenis Longjean still being shadowed by Giorgio Maggi, but he's not close enough to do anything as they head in towards turn number one. Lassie Sorensen, then the number 22 Chevy of Nicola Rocca, under pressure from the Ford that sits behind. At the moment, 
having just run that little bit wide, which opened the door for Lassie Sorensen. It's just the one place lost so far for Nicola Rocca, who was third in the standings last year in the championship. Further down through the order, looks like Alan Day might be making a little bit of progress here, having a nibble to try and get up the inside of Martin Dubeck. Alan Day was a little bit out of position in qualifying, started eighth place on the grid, the double former champion at the wheel of the Monster Energy number 24 Chevy. So through there comes Studis Longi leading, 13 laps still to go at this stage. Giorgio Maggi, Lassie Sorensen, then Nicola Rocca, then Alan Day now really up onto the coattails of the number seven Hendrix Ford in the hands of the Czech driver Martin Dubeck. As we go on board with the double former champion, Alan Day looking to try and squeeze his way through ahead of the Hendrix Ford. Door's just about open, Martin Dubek tries to squeeze him as much as he dare, but already the Israeli is alongside and through the next corner, through he goes as we look at the view now of Alan Day ahead of Martin Dubek, who's just lost the place. Another lap chalked into the book, another lap which Stenis Longji leads so far. We've had four races so far in the Euro NASCAR Pro Division. Each one of those races has been won by a different driver, but Stenis Longji is not one of those drivers. So if he were to hang on to the position, or even if Giorgio Maggi were to take the lead, it would then be we've got five different winners out of the first five races of the season. Nicola Rocca still under pressure. He is not at all relaxing, is he, Nicola Rocca? Because he's got Loris Hazemans, the reigning champion, right with him, Martin Dubeck, at the wheel of the sister car to it from Hendrix Motorsport, sitting right behind the number 50. And as they all charge their way over the start-finish line, first, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth, all together on the start-finish line at the same time. But out front, it's Chevy that leads at this stage. Now, is this the opportunity for Loris Hazemans? Again, Nicola Rock was a little bit slow there, seems to be struggling with the car. The news I'm hearing is that the power steering is failing on the car, and that's why Nicola Rock now is having to fight that car. Through goes Loris Hazemans, through goes Alan Day as well, so two places lost there for Nicola Rock, who's just now started to drop down through the order. I'm not surprised, really, if he's lost the power steering. A 2,700 pound or 1.2 ton car is a big old car to wrestle around what is a very twisty circuit here at Autodrome Grobnik. Now, Alan Day, former champion, back to back champion, is Alan 2017 2018, is now applying the pressure to the reigning champion, and Stinis Longji is now finding himself under enormous pressure from Giorgio Maggi, who took a bit of a breather, but now he's right back on to terms with the race leader. Three different teams represented inside the top three. PK Carsport lead, Hendricks second, DF1 racing sitting there in third. Now remember, neither of these drivers have had a win so far this season. Giorgio Maggi in his first season in Euro NASCAR Pro. He was a winner on several occasions in Euro NASCAR 2 last year, but he stepped up to the top flight. Stenis Longi was a race winner in Euro NASCAR Pro at Zolder in Belgium, his home NASCAR Grand Prix last year. He'd desperately like to try and add another victory to that tally. But now they are both getting caught by the car that sits behind, which is the reigning Euro NASCAR 2 champion, Lassie Sorensen, who's already claimed to win at the top flight earlier on this year. Working their way through the twisty sections once more, and then the speeds start to climb again as they will head down the straight very shortly, but the top three are all still together. Stenis Longji, the man who is having to soak up the pressure. Giorgio Maggi with that difficult decision, do I attack, do I defend? Well, in reality, he's having to do a little bit of both at this stage. Back out of the next corner, in towards the next section of the circuit as we go on board with Mark Goosens, who is sitting right behind another little pair of cars and looking, the Belgian driver, to try and work his way through if he can. 50 years of age now, Mark Goosens. Had a really good single-seater career, and he's hot on the heels of the number seven car in the hands of Martin Dubeck, and then the 22 of Nicola Rock, who really does seem to be struggling now, doesn't he? He's trying to drive as quickly as he can. He's trying to make sure he gets off the corners well, but all of the time, it's going to be hard work, isn't it, behind the wheel of that number 22 car, and it looks as though, yeah, he just can't really fight as much as he'd like now. He's not going to make it easy, but he's just getting picked off, I'm afraid, and that's another couple of places lost for the Italian. Great soundtrack these cars make as Mark Goosens dives on the brakes and looks to try and apply the pressure. The same as Giorgio Maggi is looking to do to Stenis Longjean. Is that a change for the lead? No, not quite. Stenis Longjean just managing to get the door closed on the Swiss driver that sits behind. It's still three for the lead. It's still Loris Hazeman that sits there in fourth place at this stage. He's still managing to fend off the attack that's coming from Alan Day. 
who is there in fifth position. But for Stevis Longin, he's trying hard, just raising the dust on the exit of turn number five. Giorgio Maggi now dropping away a little bit and starting to concentrate on defence to try and hang on to second place for Giorgio Maggi, who hasn't had a great start to the season. And that, I'm afraid to say, off and in the gravel is Mark School, just 16 years of age, has been hugely impressive with his pace so far this weekend, making his debut in the series, but he's just come to grief towards the tail end of this race. It's Dinis Longjean now, it's looking good for him, could well be a race victory here because I don't think Giorgio Maggi has got anything left in the tank on the charge to the flag. So Stinis Longjean claims his first win of the season and now that makes it five different drivers out of the first five races. Giorgio Maggi finishes in second place, Lassie Sorensen in third, head of Loris Hazemans and Alan Day, the championship leader with Martin Dubeck wrapping up the top six. Fantastic first Euro NASCAR Pro race of the weekend. Stenis Longjean celebrates on the top of the number 11 car. Let's hear from our race winner. Really happy with this victory. Uh, it took a while uh, since I was driving Elite One uh, last year that I took the win. Mm -hmm. So now if you know how to win, it's more easy. Yeah. But yeah, I love to be here in uh, Croatia. Mm -hmm. it's, it's fine to, to be here as a guest and uh, I love the track. So it's the second career win in Euro NASCAR Pro for Stenis Longji. Giorgio Maggi and Lassie Sorensen join him on the podium. In the junior trophy for those drivers aged under 25, it was Giorgio Maggi that claimed the win. And in the challenger trophy for amateur drivers in Euro NASCAR Pro, Davide Dallara came out on top.